What's Maggie going to do? Maggie's going to have to, like, kill Jenny or something. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, that's right. We're in the tunnels. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. These look recent. These ones are. So this is what hotboxing dead people looks like. Yeah, yeah it smells like... She didn't burn it! She didn't burn it! But hey. is she going to give it to her? You got a name? She doesn't talk much. <laughs> doesn't follow orders either. Why does she give her the dino? Well, I'm assuming if she gives it, then she has to explain. No, but she, know. she knows she's seen it. I got it. And she's just like, <laughs> like, what is that? It's like, yeah, I've got your dino. What of it? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Maggie's such a bitch. I don't understand. Hey, I pushed us to attack Maya, them. Maya, no, I must have missed something. Has he been bitten? Are we going to fucking find oh, out? Oh, yes, that's right. The Barazzi. Thank you. Hey, we don't got time to wonder how we got here. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right? Yeah. Good. No, he's not. Nah, that's a life I overheard one. Mm hmm. Tell me you wouldn't be asking Tommaso. It's like, you're right, you sure? Yeah, let me just check you for bites. You've been out there a while. You saving me doesn't bring back the magistrate that you did kill. Or the four of the men with him. Those assholes, they damn near killed my wife. If you had seen what she looked like when I found her. The marshal did kill his partner, though. I guarantee you you'd done the same. Hmm. Interesting. They're in a bit of a predicament now. Hey. Come on. Out back. This guy's a dick. <laughs> I was just thinking, he's only got a javelin gun. It's not even really that threatening, is it? <laughs> wouldn't they be trying to cover their mouths with, like, cloth or something? <laughs> that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Yo. I might. Check this out. I don't think you'd be wanting to check things out. <laughs> I think you'd be wanting to get the hell out of there. No idea. Oh. 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 No, I think it's fat. Oh. Jenny! Yo. Oh. You're trying to go after Negan? Is that it? You don't even know him. Know the monster that I know, but if you stick around long enough, you will. Oh, I doubt it. Let's go. I think in this world, you want a monster for a dad. That doesn't sound like Maggie's getting too fond of Negan. <laughs> Was she ever really that fond of Negan? I don't know. They are working together. You would have thought. It's definitely a loose term, working together. You want to tell me where the hell we're going, or is it just some big-ass surprise? Chelsea Pierce. Don't that seem a few ass hairs short of a dingleberry? <laughs> Don't need boats. Just a dock. It floats. All we got to do is disconnect it. You're from here. You're a New Yorker. The Bronx. Work for the state. Drift collection boats. I actually don't mind this guy too much, to be oh, honest. you've really warmed up to him. What were you? Worked for the state, too. Gym teacher. The only people to survive the apocalypse are those that work for the state. Maggie is never going to be able to let the, this Glenn thing go. I thought that that was going to happen going into this show, and I realise now it's never going to happen. No. And in fact, she seems to really dislike Negan more than ever. I know. And it's interesting because the way The Walking Dead ended was sort of like her saying, yeah, I can't forgive you, but you've earned your place. You can yeah. stay. It really seemed like the start of something new for them. and Almost forgiven but not forgotten. Not. Yeah. Actually. That harpoon gun is useless against the walkers. Against like, the walkers, yeah. Like, he uses it once, and then he's dead. Oh, yeah. Ooh, creepy. 
What do you think? Some avant-garde artist from before? I think it's cool. <laughs> you wouldn't mind that in your bedroom? I wouldn't mind that on display somewhere. You prefer it to be real baby parts? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think we are? Probably Hell's Kitchen. I can't believe they haven't put cloth, so, like, is some type of cloth around their face. Or even complain about the smell, I guess. Yeah. As well. Holy shit. Oxygen. Oxygen. It's pretty random. Must be extras for the Barazzi. Crazy lucky, right? They're going to have to share them. Does their work? Let's find out. Imagine it's a trap and they start breathing it in the <laughs> Yes. It's laughing gas. Kid gets one. We can trade off the other. What? You got to keep huffing fleshies? What? What's your deal? What's your deal, bitch? <laughs> What's your problem? She actually has turned into such a shit character. <laughs> you got to ask yourself who's the most annoying in this group. Maybe it was Luther who tipped him off. He left us. He didn't want to go through with anything. Why didn't she tell them they can kill him? No, nah, that would be a bad move. No, 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 no. It can't be Luther. It was him. What? The hell are you talking about? You knew exactly how to get out last night. You knew to go to the sewers. You even knew how to get inside with that bullshit no no story. Why, you're not gonna believe this shit, right? You can't believe He had this. the tanks in his pack the whole time. <laughs> Why? Because he's a liar. Yeah, too. <laughs> Is Maggie going to put him down? I was going to say, if you thought he was a traitor, you wouldn't just like tell him about it. You'd just take your chance and get rid of him before he gets a chance to fire. Because now what? Yeah. They're just going to leave him there? He's going to leave Maggie without oxygen. Just keep on going. Don't even worry about it. Very interesting. They're really amping up the animal deaths in this show. Is it Rocker Raccoon? He's had enough. They took that from Terrifier. They got the freaking raccoon. Jesus Christ. What the hell is that? How does that even get like that? I know, that's what I was thinking. Oh. Mm. What does that mean? You'd probably take the axe. Negan's being a little trickster. I don't know what he's thinking. Hey. Megan literally could take him out at any point. Yeah, well, first of all, this guy's limping. Yeah, he's not paying any attention to what Negan's doing behind his back. And why wouldn't you take the axe? He's got no, they got no weapons. Oh, so he uses the zombie as a weapon. What? have like a change of heart and go back to save him? No, nah, he's gone. Do not dead open inside. Ha! They wrote it properly this time. <laughs> I'm disappointed in them, to be honest. <laughs> he did exactly what Nigga was trying to do. Okay. God damn it. Believe it or not, I don't like leaving people behind to die. Even huge assholes. And here's the deal. All right, I help you, and no more of this dragging me back to New Babylon bullshit. 
No. No? You think you know me? Is that it? Because I guarantee you, you don't. Come on. What if the marshal that he killed was his brother? No, I don't think so. <laughs> this whole circumstance now is very weird. Well, they're going to have to end up dead so Maggie can take the oxygen, right? Well, they can share it. They can... Well, she doesn't seem to be sharing. Yeah, why is she not interested? She just wants to get high. Hey. I mean, they haven't split up yet. Huh? I don't understand why she refuses the oxygen. It just seems like a really weird move. Maybe she feels like she doesn't deserve it. I think it's more just to say, like, I don't agree with what you've done and I don't need it sort of thing. But it just seems dumb, doesn't it? And like, she's clearly fainting from it. Am I up? Here we go. If they weren't bitten already, they are now. How do you get out of this scenario? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's been bitten too, surely. I think so. Oh. <laughs> that all went down so quickly. It's not my fault. I messed it all up. Jeez. Yeah, that was weird. That was real random. After all that. I guess she gets her own oxygen now. Yeah, well, that's what I said. They have to die <laughs> so sad. Maggie gets her oxygen. Is she even going to take it? Imagine she didn't take it. She's so dumb. <laughs> it would just be really annoying. That was an odd scene. Oh. He's looking very nice in his hat. Why is he dressed like a drug dealer? <laughs> Same. Just me on my morning commute. Ah. Turns out he's very, very self-conscious about the year. This is where this other person comes into a play, right? This girl that's in the trailer. Oh, yes. I've seen previews of some higher up person. Well, it's quite nice in there. Kind of giving me a John Wick vibe. Mm. I didn't see this coming. Yeah, very weird. A bit different to the old uh, Bill and Frank Last of Us piano scene. <laughs> Out of my way, bitch. <laughs> <Not either. laughs> oh, Gee, she's not very nice. Well, he doesn't seem like maybe people just don't like him wherever he is. I think it's his hat. <laughs> We're talking to them now. Who's them? I don't know, but I'm already not liking it. Doesn't feel like The Walking Dead at all. Not that this show does, but this is even more of a left turn. I'm surprised that they've now introduced these multiple communities. Because they kind of made out Croat was like running the island, and now it's like he's a small part of it. Sit. My informant delivers. 
The threat has been neutralized. And also, Negan is on the island. I saw him with my own eyes. Then where is he? It's giving that scene in Secret Invasion where Nick Fury goes to see that girl. I knew you liked Secret Invasion. Just, no, I'm not enjoying this at all. <laughs> oh, right. You hated both. One so far, a marshal. But he comes from the mainland. There is absolutely no way Negan will be getting off this island. Well, he's nearly off. <laughs> they were just planning on going off. Yeah. Better get your ass in the game, Mr. Croat. He what knows. do they expect that Negan's going to come in and be the big bad again? Is that what they want? I, I, I want to know how she knows Negan. Imagine he was the she's the girl that he cheated on Lucille with. Oh, God. Imagine. I swear to God, this would be so soapy if they did that. I would be like, no more. Why is The Walking Dead now the bold and the beautiful? My only issue with this is you've got a show that's only six episodes long and now they've introduced a whole nother... Storyline. Whole other storyline. A very large sort of, you know, really opened up this world. It's now it's not a condensed story. Well, I don't anymore. think they'll finish it. Well, no, they won't. They'll need a second season. But it's, uh, there's a lot going on. Fucking use the oxygen, you bitch. Where is it? Something's not right with her. You know, you think if she was trying to get her son back, she'd be doing everything she could to keep herself alive. That's the thing. Take it. Like she knows she's struggling. She knows it would save her, make her better. Look, I don't know what you saw in my bag, but I'm guessing that you saw something. Uh, the dino, you dumb fucking idiot. I never showed him your doll because I didn't even know if you were still here or where you were, if you were even still alive. But why didn't you give it to her when you f found her? A very bad man. Took all of our grain and all of our food, and he's gonna keep on taking it every single harvest until we all starve to death. You understand? Oh, she does. I compute. Very surprising. This is her chance to be like, give me Dino now. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> It'd be amazing if she had like a little pen and paper. You bitch. Well, so she knows that she's got Dino. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, she just literally said, I didn't tell Negan about Dino. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. It's like, well, you can give it to her now. Can I at least have it back, you freaking whore? Yeah, why keep it? <laughs> Get in the bus. <sighs> For some reason, like every relationship in this show has to be about two people that just hate each other, no matter which group you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Imagine the Marshall and Maggie get together. Oh, Gross. It's more likely fucking Negan and Marshall I know. end up doing No, it. it's more likely than Negan and Maggie at this point. Okay. Why are you doing this? I was thinking the same thing. My luck, they been your death on me, and I'm wanted twice as bad. I don't think you can get worse than he's currently wanted. That's way worse than you. I can only think that if he he wants the plan to turn the marshal around, and that way maybe get him off his back so no one chases him anymore. Mm -hmm. My brother. Yeah. His name was Joel. He was left to die all alone. So what? In the worst possible place on the planet. I'm surprised Negan seems to get emotional about it. I think he's talking, thinking about leaving Lucille behind. He did love that bat. <laughs> Still no oxygen. She's not even, she doesn't even have it. You've got to wonder. If you're going to be gassed out of your mind, this is like the last place you want to be. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, Jenny, go! Now! Go! You can do it! Go! <laughs> oh, 
my rights. Wow. Whoa, okay. I, I don't really know if it's a variant or if it's just something that's smushed together. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's one of the coolest ones I've ever done, that's for yeah. sure. His face is coming out of its stomach. There's no way she'd survive that. No, that's right. That's the only thing. You're like, if this was real, she's not getting out of that. This is like a mutant zombie. And she, there's no way she'd even be able to hold it up. No. See, that thing should have been what killed Tommaso and his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That would have been a cooler scene. Just randomly kill them off some zombies. They could have used that. <laughs> she really is um, very Alice from Resident Evil in this episode. Yeah. Just like the grunting and shit. That's like Alice's classic thing. Just replace her with Miller at this point. Mm -hmm. Look, she Jimmy. looks great. Yeah. She looks good. She they've yeah. they planned her character and how she looks very very well. But I just don't know what they're doing with her. They're really trying to harp on the emotional toll of Herschel being taken, and probably too much. Uh, well. That's not good. Ginny's got no chill. No. She's like... She's also got no dino. What is this? Okay. What are we about oh, to see? Oh, she does have a dino. Maggie gave her the bag. Oh. She's got dino. She don't give a bag. shit. She's leaving that bitch for dead. What's this flashback about? Oh. 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 Bitch has been lying. Why are you lying? So the whole thing is only about Herschel? Is that what we're... Is that what this is talking about? <laughs> is that? Why yeah, are you I acting like it? Hey. Fucking who cares about Herschel? He's an ass. Yeah, no one likes Herschel. Even Herschel doesn't like Herschel. So, he wanted Negan the whole time. Uh, well. Wow. Okay. Yeah, she's a bitch. They. Wow. Oh, she's getting out there. Yeah, well, she wasn't going to die down there, was she? Now she's alone. Where That's how you deserve to be, bitch. <laughs> All right, look. Uh, fair play. That's a good twist. Yeah. Uh, I think it's good. That's I didn't see it's that good. coming. Like, there was obviously a lot with this story. That a lot had. in this episode hinted at that being the case. I don't know. But... It's a cool scene to show a flashback to. And the fact that the Kryat's gone all to all this trouble to get Negan makes this whole story a lot more... It just makes a lot more sense for the reason why she's brought him. What's Maggie going to do? Maggie's going to have to, like, kill Ginny or something. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would actually be pretty good. <laughs> it's just She's a great way really to in a predicament here. Well, wow. See, the thing is there now is I have absolutely no idea how it's going to end. Yeah, this this episode, there was a lot going on yeah. in this episode. I feel like with that episode, they really just took the story and blew it wide open mm -hmm. because it seems so basic in episode before, just such a very simple storyline. Mm -hmm. And now... 
Now you don't even, like, anything you thought was going to happen is, like, out of the cards. Yeah, now there's so much The going only on. thing I can see happening is if, if Negan does find out, which I'm assuming he will, about Maggie double-crossing him the whole time, she's going to have to save him to redeem herself, I guess. Or save old Ginny. Ginny. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm assuming something like that will happen because how are they going to make a show about Maggie and Negan and not have Maggie and Negan in it working together? Well, I feel like it's a it's a hole that they've dug for her that she can't get out of, mm-hmm. you know, unless, well, the good thing is Ginny can't say anything. <laughs> well, she's going to have to, <laughs> she? can't she? say anything. She's have to, but like... unless Ginny dies, like what else... You know, like, how do these two keep well, getting along? Well, that's what I'm see- seeing. Like, Herschel, they're not going to... Maggie and Negan would never get together if Herschel was still alive. So, Herschel was going to die. But now it looks like they're never going to get together at all. So, is no. Ginny just going to die? Who knows? But it's very hard I think to say. I do think Negan will find out and then there'll be, like, this redeeming moment for Maggie where she either saves Ginny or she saves mm. Negan. Or maybe even Negan does die and Negan requests that Ginny is saved. Maggie mm. saves Ginny and Negan leaves himself for dead. And then there's this whole cutoff where it's like, oh my God, is Negan dead? And then he comes back next season. Something like that. But that's the thing. Like, like you expect them probably want to do season two. Mm-hmm. But after this storyline. It seems hard. Yeah. Negan yeah. would have to like I'm be sure able to get figure it out. I'm sure they'll figure it out. It's almost like, you know. To then them- again, you know, um, Negan did leave Maggie to die in that train. Yeah. It's not. That much different, I suppose, when you yeah, think but about this it. Whole but Negan does really seem redeemed at the moment. He seems like a good guy. He seems yeah. like he's down the right path. And and I think Maggie was realising that when they were working together. Yeah. Even that part where she was like, oh, I have to tell you something. Was that about the whole thing or was it about Dino? Who knows? If It seems weird to me because they did have him a real asshole to her at the start. Mm-hmm. Then he's protecting her. Then he's becoming this monster and now he's like a super, you know, nice guy. It he's, seems like he's only being the monster when he has to be the monster. And I think that that's... Well, that's what I thought was going to we'll see more of that going mm-hmm. forward. But now... I think we'll get it in the next episode. For I sure. hope so. Because mm-hmm. we were like, oh, amazing. This is the greatest scene ever. And then he just went super nice guy. Like he's being so nice to the Marshal. I did love that last shot of Maggie though. Because you really do see in her eyes. She's like, I have no idea what to do. Yeah. I am fucked. Yes. <laughs> she just has no idea what to do. She's Yeah, she's not in a good place. No. But even... Yeah, I don't She's even like, know. couldn't this happen after I got Herschel back? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I feel like they've made no progress. Like the whole thing about them trying to get Herschel. And they're made, nowhere like, no near getting yeah. Herschel. Yeah. And considering like this is a stitch up for her to take Negan to the Croat, shouldn't have been that simple that she just meets the Croat. No, here's Negan. Give me Herschel. Instead, this whole thing is just falling apart. Like it yeah. doesn't seem like a simple trade. You know, this deal with basically the Croat saying, I want Negan doesn't really seem to be playing out for her very well. I don't well. know, but I, I, you know what? I do give them um, props Props where it's due yeah. for making it so I have absolutely no idea yeah. how it's going to end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No one could have guessed that that was going to happen. Obviously, I did say from the start there was more to the story, but I thought there was more to the story between Negan and the Croat, not between Maggie and the Croat. Yeah. So I definitely... Um, Give them props where it's due. Because yeah, exactly. Doing very good. I'm I'm very glad that with the story they decided to write something which wasn't just like a straightforward like action story or mm-hmm. like there's a it's very complex. There's a lot going on and certainly a lot of twists and turns that yeah. uh, we didn't see coming and it pulled it off well. Like besides in that episode, the fact that her motivation to not take the the oxygen and stuff was a bit weird. Like mm. there's some interesting writing there, um, but the overall arching story is great. It's yeah. obviously keeping us very excited to see what happens. Yeah, in the finale, I'm very excited um, to see how this plays out. I hope that the finale is longer because I feel like they have a lot of There's base lot to cover. To go, there yeah. is a lot of base to cover, and yeah. I would hate for them to do cover half of what we're after and then be like, "Oh, you're gonna have to wait till next season." I yeah. would hate that. Um, overall, the show seems to be traveling really slow. So whether they decide to only cover a part of it next episode and then do it all in next season, so that they actually have something to go off, because if they do close it all off next episode. What would be next season? I, I do see a storyline with Negan trying to go find his wife, but yeah. I, I don't know how they're going to close that all off before next season. I feel like we have to get a good amount of closure. Mm-hmm. Like there's got to be a decent amount of closure going forward in this. A lot's happened in it. It's only six episodes, so they've compacted a lot into the six episodes. Mm-hmm. But certainly there's way too much going on to close everything off. Mm-hmm. 
I hope that maybe some of the shows start to interact with each other, you mm-hmm. know? So we have, yeah. we learn about a few things here and then maybe we see something like that in Daryl's show or mm-hmm. someone else's show. And that could be cool. Because there's a lot here. There's a lot going on. Yeah. I know it was a great episode. I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't expect like any of that really. I didn't think that it was going to just explode into these all these things happening at no. once. So I was very happy with that. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. And we hope to see you next week. We will see you next week. Thank you.